So in that scenario, who won? The most number of very successful companies have, have come from recessionary periods, like Apple, Amazon, uh, all of these companies came from this period of time. And this is understandable. Just think about it. We were talking about wedding photographers. If they're gonna say, I'm not gonna do any wedding if I don't get X number of dollars, I'm just gonna sit at home and do nothing. That person isn't out there during the slow time, doing jobs, establishing relationships, building up their business, building efficiencies to do things on lower budgets. So then when the economy gets better, people have more money, they have more budget, you're already still working. So are they gonna go to the person that's not been marketing at all and just started marketing and just open their business back up? Or are they gonna go with the person that's well known, had a lot of connections, a lot of relationships, a lot of referrals for the work that they did? Right. Now you built up your efficiency. Your costs are lower. This person just started back up and their costs are gonna be higher. Your skills are better, so you can get more done. They're just getting back to get warmed up. So now you're taking off because you're getting all this business because you built up all of this goodwill from these doing this work when everybody wasn't working. So now you have a bunch of connections. You have a ability, you've learned how to reduce your costs and you've built up your efficiency to be better and quality because you're still practicing. So in that scenario, who won? It's the guy that came in and worked during the hard time right. and made it through. So when we lose the idea of being emotional, now when you can't do something because you literally can't afford to do it, that's one thing. But if you're not doing a job because you're like, I am not getting my worth and you'd rather just do nothing, that is pride. 